story on the sunken amphibious assault vehicle continues to develop. On July 30th, an AAV carrying 15 Marines and one sailor rapidly sank off the California coast. We still have seven Marines and one sailor who remain missing and search and rescue efforts are ongoing to find them. The vehicle was participating in an operation with the 15th Marine Expeditionary Unit and was returning to its ship when it reported taking on water and began to sink. Not much is known about why the vehicle sank, and all waterborne operations with AAVs have been halted while the Marine Corps investigates exactly what happened. The vehicle was found roughly 1,500 meters off the coast in nearly 400 feet of water um, with human remains inside. The incident has deeply affected the Marine Corps. AAVs don't often sink, but when they do, it's cause for alarm throughout the Corps. These vehicles are a staple of the Marine Corps amphibious operations and are often used, especially in training exercises, to get Marines from ship to shore. But the experience of riding in the back of these vehicles is one often dreaded by Marines. They're not super small, but they definitely get packed in pretty tight with gear, guns, uh, you know, water, all that type of thing. They, they pack people in pretty tight. Essentially, uh, you're in a dark, metal box that has this 550 horsepower engine just screaming at you and you know probably a bit of an exhaust leak leaking into the the troop compartment and uh it's it's dark it's loud you don't really know where you're at you have no idea if you're you know 800 meters off the beach or a mile off the beach you're just kind of waiting until the, the ramp comes down or you feel the uh at least until you feel the tracks hit the, the sand and you know you're on the beach the whole AAV community right now is, is feeling this so heavily because we, we understand like just how uh, how terrible it would be to go down in one of those things. And, you know, you're, you're jumping into the ocean in this big metal box that you don't know what's going on and you're just hoping that the, the crewman did the correct preventative maintenance and the driver knows what he's doing and all that. Even if everyone got it, got out, It'd be a terrifying experience to be going down to one of those, just just with uh, how fast 26 tons sink, uh, how how crowded it is back there. It's it's going to be pretty rough. The story brings into focus just how dangerous the job of being a marine is, even when it's just a training exercise. I talked to the father of one of the marines lost in the incident, and he told an emotional story about his son, saying that all he ever wanted to be was a marine. From here on out, the Corps is going to investigate this incident, find out exactly why the vehicle sank, and look into ways to prevent further sinkings. Stay with us here at the Marine Corps Times, and we'll be giving you the latest as the story develops.